Hello, this is Dr. Kevin Kirk. And we have our cookie. This is just a basic cookie that we've made. And take a look. We can see we've got it made out of, well, basically made out of squares, which is great. Has a nice UVW map. Let's go ahead and select it and show you that. So it's made out of squares. Has a nice UVW map. So whatever text you throw on it will look good. And I want to take a bite out of this cookie. I'm going to actually animate this thing. I'm going to zoom in like so. Back out a little bit. I'm going to use a grid, believe it or not, that G button to actually guide what I'm doing for now. I'm going to create the bytes. Now you can get as fancy as you want. I'm just going to use a basic cylinder like so. So that's going to be actually a bite out of the cookie. I guess that's the teeth. Height, we only need one segment. The rest isn't important. I'm going to move this down so it's a little below that grid. So I can take the bite out of the cookie itself, the whole thing. I'm going to duplicate this. So I'll hold down the shift and pull it over. I just want to copy. I don't want an instance. I could rename this if I wanted to. I don't really care to right now. That's fine. Cylinder is fine. And I'll do a few bites of the cookie. Now each of these are going to be animated going in and taking a bite out of the cookie. Here's how it works. At frame zero, I'm going to set it up for an auto key. Just an easy way to do it. And in move, I'll grab my cookie, and we're all set. Great. Just make sure you set it. I just double check everything. All of these guys here, in move, I'll make sure they're set. Now, on the cookie, I want to apply a modifier. And this thing is going to be, whoops, it's going to be in the create and compound objects. This is going to be a pro boolean. A regular boolean works, but when you have more than one byte, sometimes it can honestly mess up on you. So we'll do a pro boolean. And I will set a keyframe here. Boom. So I'll try to set a keyframe there. And I'll try to set a keyframe right before it. So I'll start picking nothing on there. Set a keyframe before it. So on frame 30, I'm setting a keyframe. I'm also setting a keyframe on one of my objects. Actually, all of them would be fine. So I'm going to set a keyframe there for motion. So I'm setting a keyframe. So that means on frame 30, all the cylinders are there. Cookie hasn't moved. Frame 31, however, I'll set it up where the cylinder moves. Ah, just one. Where the cylinder moves in toward the cookie. Let's zoom in so we can get a look. All right, so that's going to be a big bite taken out of the cookie. Now I'll select this, the cookie itself, which is going to be B, <laughs> which is going to be eaten. And I'm going to that pro boolean again, compound object. And this time, I'm going to start picking and select the object to delete. Boom. So that deletes it. We have our cookie byte, which is great. Kind of small little cookie byte. The frame before it doesn't have that, because we set the pro boolean keyframe at 30 to not have it. And at 31, we set it up to have it. Take another byte. Let's use this one for example. Oops, sorry about that. Of course, the pavilion's on. Let's go back to something more neutral like a select. I'll go out here, about frame, oh, let's say 42. Frame 42, I'll select the cookie, go pavilion, and I'll set a key. Just make sure it's auto keyed there for the pavilion. And I'll use this little guy here. Make sure it's a select. You don't want to have things deleted right now. And I will auto key, select that guy for his position. Move it forward. And still with the auto key on, I'll move this guy to take the second bite. Maybe, whoops, wrong key. Make sure you get the right access to move things. And I'll take another bite about here. So another nibble of the cookie right about there. Let's take a look. Yeah, that's fine. It's so another little nibble of the cookie right about there. Now we have the keyframe set at 42 at 43. We're going to do the actual chomping of the cookie. So the modifiers, whoops, had the pro boolean. So we'll do that as start picking. Click it, boom, and it takes a chunk out of the cookie. Double check, make sure the keyframe set, double check. The frame before, nothing gone. The frame after, it's chomped. So I'm going to go back and start playing this. Frame before, chomp, chomp. So I can start eating the whole cookie this way. I'll do one more example just so it kind of sinks in, I suppose. Right over here. I'll go back to the regular selection. I'll make sure I have the pro boolean 
and I'll do an auto key for that. I'll make sure I'm just selecting now. And I'll select get out of the robot land there. I'll select this guy and make sure of the movement, make sure that is set. Alright, so back to the cookie here. The next key over, I want to move this fellow for another bite. So I'll move him in. Selecting the cookie itself. Let's see if this is going to be a good bite. Yeah, that's fine. Selecting the cookie itself, I'll do the same thing with a boolean and start picking. We'll obviously take that bite out. Okay, so make sure that's keyed. So I'll take the auto key off now. I'll just go back to the beginning and I'll play it through. So here's how the, the cookie is eaten. That's how you do it. Now take a look. When I'm eating this thing, the center is not open. It has the polygon supporting it. It's just fine. So that texture is going to be great. Thanks to the fact that we put that UVW texture on cylindrically and squashed it down. So now we have a very nice animation of a cookie being eaten over time. Alright, enjoy.